some people don't want to see you succeed. Some people don't want to see you healthy. Some people don't want to see you ha uh, happy. Some people don't even want you to get saved and have everlasting life. Why is it that some people become, become sad and even angry when they see things are going well for you? It's because, as I've said in a previous audio clip of mine, human beings that are, aren't born again, sinners, they have the added, you have the, how do I see it? The attitude, I would say the addiction of blaming others for their errors, for their own errors, I mean. So sinners will often put the blame of their stupid behavior and their shortcomings on other people. And to see someone who is succeeding, you see, that ain't really a problem. The thing is what sinners often want to have a few people around whom they can, you know, target as negative and irredeemable so that they won't have to face their own, you know, damnation. See, to avoid having to, to avoid responsibility and avoid having to take actions they don't want to take, to avoid doing the right thing, sinners desire to have a few individuals around them which they can deem unworthy so that they won't have to face their own unworthiness. And this is the truth, guys. So just remember, when people become angry, frustrated, violent, and even, hate, even hateful and scornful when things are going well with you, it shows who they really are. It, it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. And often those people will be the people in your own circle because they are the ones that will face and endure your success when things are going well with you. So if you have such individuals, just let them live your life and stay away from them. Uh, you don't have to waste your time to convince people that you know you're not unworthy. Okay? Listen, when you're born again, you are you have you you've became the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So because of his grace you are worthy. Not because of yourself but because of me. So just stay away from haters. Okay? And be blessed and the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you.